Hey there everyone, this is Bob Martin, the RC Sub Guy with the Nautilus Drydocks.com and I want to share with you how we set up this 48 inch Nautilus for RC utilizing our new 300 series sub driver. Let's get to it. So what we've got here is the cylinder that we would recommend for utilization with this boat. It's got an eight inch, three and three quarter inch diameter ballast tank, three inch end compartments. If we start at the back here, we can see our uh, tilting propeller assembly. And uh, if you get the starter kit, this is what you're gonna end up with. Uh, this bracket in the back here, uh, universal drive shaft and the coupler in here for the dog bone and the idea behind this um, you can see this tilting up and down and you only need maybe 10 degrees of deflection uh, to get some pretty amazing pitch control you can see it's really uh, solid and uh, that is how you control the pitch of the boat because the dive planes the stock dive planes are next to useless uh, in this boat the other thing I set up was the uh, the rudder linkage. You can see this moving back and forth. That exits right where that propeller strut would be. And then that propeller guard strut would go out the back and it would connect to this ring. And then this would connect to your rudder linkage. So as this moves left and right, that's gonna be moving your rudder uh, left and right. If we see this in uh, practical application, uh, I'll get the motor spinning here. <laughs> now you can see that is moving really, really fast. Uh, I've actually got it dialed down to about 30% of the total output that the motor can do. So if any of you want to have a super fast Nautilus, uh, this setup will allow you to do it. Uh, it's pushing a big prop. You're going to be able to move a lot of water with it. Um, from a lockdown perspective, how you actually mount the cylinder. Now, there's a couple of ways to do it. When you get the starter kit, you're actually going to get some universal three-inch bulkheads, and you can mount those uh, right here in the hull. You simply trim the legs, and that's what would support the uh, cylinder inside. What I actually did for this though, and it worked really well, um, I'll show it to you here in a second. Let's move this out of the way. Uh, this Velcro strap is what holds the cylinder in place. We're simply going to disconnect our linkages here. And you just lift up and away it comes. This is your intake for the ballast system that would go high up in your boat, maybe in like the dorsal fin, for example. So I just, out of plastic, made this little bracket with a pin, and that pin goes into a, a hole in the bottom of the ballast tank, and that's what keeps the uh, rotary alignment going. Now you'll see in here this, uh, this filler. All I did was uh, put some plastic over top, put this filler underneath, and I pressed the cylinder in place, uh, and that created a perfect outline of the cylinder, stops it from moving forward and backward, and creates a very positive lock for the cylinder to lock in place there. Now, some people might say it's a little ugly. You could obviously clean that up if you wanted to. The objective with this particular build was to get it functional. Um, you can take it as far as you want to go in terms of cosmetics. But again, installation and removal is uh, exceptionally simple. Um, just watch your Velcro, drop this down, nestles in place, that goes there, this goes here. Oh, we forgot to put our drive shaft in place, my apologies. Just lift that up, slip that in place. Now you can Velcro it down and uh, lock in our other control surfaces. Super simple. Um, I think this is going to work really, really well to power this. The, the cylinder itself is mounted just below center line, which means you've got more annular space for foam up top um, and then lots of room underneath for 
lead as well. So this is the setup uh, and how we did it here to set this up for RC operation. Lots of different ways to do it. This is just one way of going about it. Uh, if you have any questions, by all means, reach out to me, Bob at NautilusDryDocks.com. We'll get you all walked through and get your boat in the water. So with that, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for joining me, and we will catch you next time.